Hi, Pat here. I'm happy to inform you that the company Christmas party will take place on December 23rd, starting at noon in the private room at the grill house. There will be a cash bar and plenty of drinks. We'll have a small band playing traditional carols. Feel free to sing along, and don't be surprised if our CEO shows up dressed as Santa Claus. A Christmas tree will be lit at 1 p.m. Exchange of gifts among employees can be done at that time. However, no gift should be over $10 to make the giving of gifts easy for everyone's pockets. This gathering is only for employees. A special announcement will be made by our CEO at that time. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Pat here. In no way was yesterday's memo intended to exclude our Jewish employees. We recognize that Hanukkah is an important holiday, which often coincides with Christmas, though unfortunately not this year. However, from now on we're calling it our holiday party. The same policy applies to any other employees who are not Christians or those still celebrating Reconciliation Day. There will be no Christmas tree present, no Christmas carol sung. We will have other types of music for your enjoyment. Happy now? Happy holidays to you and your family. Hi, this is Pat again. Regarding the note I received from a member of Alcoholics Anonymous requesting a non-drinking table, you didn't sign your name. I'm happy to accommodate this request, but if I put a sign on a table that reads AA only, you wouldn't be anonymous anymore. How am I supposed to handle this? Forget about the gifts exchange. No gifts exchange are allowed since the union members feel that $10 is too much money and executives believe $10 is a little chintzy. No gifts exchange will be allowed. Hi, this is Pat. What a diverse group we are. I had no idea that December 20th begins the Muslim holy month of Ramadan, which forbids eating and drinking during daylight hours. There goes the party. Seriously, we can appreciate how a luncheon at this time of year does not accommodate our Muslim employees' beliefs. Perhaps a grill house can hold off on serving your meal until the end of the party, or else package everything for you to take home in a little foil doggy bag. Will that work? Meanwhile, I've arranged for members of Weight Watchers to sit farthest from the dessert buffet, and pregnant women will get the table closest to the restrooms. Gays are allowed to sit with each other. Lesbians do not have to sit with gay men. Each will have their own table. To the person asking permission to cross-dress, no cross-dressing allowed, though. <laughs> we will have booster seats for short people. Low-fat food will be available for those on a diet. We cannot control the salt used in the food. We suggest for those people with high blood pressure to taste first. There will be fresh fruits as dessert for diabetics. The restaurant cannot supply no sugar desserts. Sorry, did I miss anything? Hi, Pat here. Vegetarians. <laughs> you know, I've had it with you people. We're going to keep this party at the grill house whether you like it or not. So you can sit quietly at the table, furthest from the grill of death, as you so quaintly put it, and you'll get your stupid salad bar, including the organic tomatoes. But you know, tomatoes have feelings too. They scream when you slice them. I, I've heard them scream. I'm, I, I'm hearing them scream right now. I hope you all have a rotten holiday. Drive drunk and die. Y'all hear me? Hi, it's Joan Bishop, Acting Human Resources Director. I'm sure I speak for all of us in wishing Pat a speedy recovery, and I'll continue to forward your cards to him. In the meantime, management has decided to cancel our holiday party and give everyone the afternoon of the 23rd off with full pay. Happy holidays! And Merry Christmas! This is Wretched Radio.